Yeah, Dan Coma, Pleasant or principal of Pleasant Hills Middle School. Uh, we were designated as a school to watch for uh, last school year. So uh, one of the things we had to consider, we were trying to figure out, you know, what is it that we want to do? So the schools to watch process, the reason we applied for it was really two main reasons. First of all, we always felt like we were a pretty good school, but we really never had a concrete set of standards to measure ourselves by. You get feedback from parents, you get feedback from your administrator, superintendent, teachers and students. But we were just looking for something more. We knew we were on the cusp of going from a good school to one that could be really great. So learned a little bit more about the Schools to Watch, conf or, uh, schools to watch process by coming to the PA MLE conference. Actually attended a session that Upper St. Clair put on. And as we started to listen to the things that they were doing, and as they went through the process, how everything tied together, we felt like that was something we could benefit from. So we went into that process trying to find out what do we do well, but what can we improve at? So we went into this whole process, and it was with that idea of how can we make ourselves better. The second reason we went into it though is, I think now more than ever, you have to be able to communicate to your parents, students, staff, the community at large, what kind of school are you? And can you get results? And it has to be about more than just test scores. We wanted to look at our overall program, uh, music, arts, content areas, extracurriculars, how we involve students, parents, and the Schools to Watch process is the way to do it. Uh, it's all encompassing. My hope, my dream is that one day we stop relying on test scores and we use criteria like the schools to watch process. I think that's how you find out if your schools are a success and if they're on the way to making progress each year.